Welcome to training for how to use Greenkeeper app. My name is Bill Kreiser and I started inventing, developing Greenkeeper app back in 2015. And we've seen a lot of interest and uh, growth of our app over the years. Um, but one of the things that's really important to maximize the utility of Greenkeeper app is to make sure that we set it up correctly and understand how to use all the different features. There's a lot of complexity within the app, which gives it a lot of power but it can also be intimidating. So the whole goal of this course and these videos is to help um, just understand what's going on and how to best utilize all the different features within Greenkeeper. And by far, the most important thing when using Greenkeeper is setting up your uh, facility correctly. It could be your golf course, your athletic field, or your commercial lawns, uh, whatever uh, turf area you're trying to manage. So let's dive into that. So Greenkeeper app, first of all, is a web-based platform. That means you don't download it from an app store. You just go to your browser and you open the website, greenkeeperapp.com. You can do it on your browser, uh, on your phone, a tablet or a computer. I'm demoing it here on a computer. So what we're gonna do first is to register for a course. Pretty simple to do. Um, you're gonna put in your name. So my name is Bill Kreuzer. And then what email you're gonna to use to, to log in. And so I'm gonna use a email um, that I have made up here. And then we're gonna give it a password. And verify you're not a robot to keep all those Russian bots from being a problem. And that actually was a problem once and that's why that recaptcha is there to make sure that you are in fact who you, an actual human being. So we're gonna create an account um, you might think, well, nothing happened. I pushed create account. Why am I on the login page? Why did I just log in? This is um, partly designed so that you can bypass this page in the future. So I'm going to log back in with the account that I just created. And this time I'm going to click remember me. And so hopefully I can just cruise right past this page. You, did you have a problem uh, remembering your password? It happens to me sometimes. Click forgot password and a new password will be emailed to you. So let's go set up our golf course. All right, so we're gonna go through this real quick tutorial the first time you log in and create a course. And so a couple of things need to get logged. One, we need to know where the golf course is and then what are some of the, the management zones that are there. We used to call them areas. We're transitioning that to management area uh, zone. That's like greens, tees, athletic fields, water, uh, roughs. Um, so that the greenkeeper kind of understands roughly how are you main maintaining that turf area. After we do that, we're going to set up our sprayers. Obviously, this is a big part of Greenkeeper. And so we can go in, set up our sprayer, the capacity, the output, I'll show you some best practices for that. And then finally, we're going to make our inventory. What products do we plan to use at your facility this year? And so we'll go in and we'll, we'll add products to our inventory. And so that first time process is really essential. If that isn't done correctly, you're not going to maximize the, the utility of our app. So let's show how to do that. So first, we're gonna set up our course. So there's a little tutorial there to explain what I just said. I'm gonna call this the uh, Greenkeeper training course. And um, this is just some demographic information, uh, public, private, or you sports turf. If you are a homeowner and you wanna use Greenkeeper, uh, welcome. Please select homeowner uh, so that we can verify your homeowner account. I'm gonna do other because this is a training type application. Number of holes if you're a golf facility. If you're not a golf, NA is fine. We'll just do 18 for now. And then we're gonna put in our zip code. So I'll use my zip code here uh, in Lincoln, Nebraska. What that's gonna do is it's gonna move my um, this little dot right into my zip code region. What we wanna do with this dot is figure out where our golf course is. We can use a satellite view if we wanna really dial it in. We can see the little par three course in Lincoln that I helped to take care of. We're gonna click on put that drop there. And now that's where the weather data is gonna come from. So that's an important thing. Now we need to add our areas or our management zones. So we are going to push done for this because I'm gonna talk you right through it. And we're gonna name our different zones. So simple things like greens, that's fine. Um, uh, area type, is it a green, a tee, uh, fairways, rough? Athletic field, uh, if you're along, you know, roughs or athletic fields would be good des designations. Um, so just kind of think about mowing heights, mowing frequencies. That's the best way to understand what area type is. 
This is the green, and then we'll say what kind of grass species. We'll say we have either bent grass or we have mixed bent annual bluegrass. Um, we're just gonna say bent grass for this example. And then soil type, um, this is maybe a sand based profile. And then ultimately this is an important part, area size. This isn't the size down to the nearest square foot. This is how many square feet or acres or square meters do you um, plan for when you're making an application. So um, say we're at a golf course and um, we plan to make um, an application of say 80 gallons um, uh, or we're gonna make 80,000 square feet. Um, we would put that right in here to say 80,000 uh, square feet if we would have mix. Or you might say, you know, it's three acres. I mix for three acres when I spray my greens, then put that value in there. It's gonna say, you wanna add another area? Sure, let's add one more. Let's do our fairways. And you can name these whatever you want, but I just usually call them fairways, fairways. I used to designate an area type. We'll say that these are just mixed cool season turf grasses and they're, they're uh, more silty clay loam soils. And maybe we have 25 acres of fairways. And sure enough, let's just add one more. And see how fast we can do this. Tees, as long as you know essentially what the grass species is on these areas uh, and roughly how big the area is when you're going to spray it. Uh, maybe we have five acres of tees. That would be amazing at a par three golf course. Um, we're good to go. Next, we need to set up our sprayers. Um, and so again, this is a simple thing. Um, so a helpful tip here is to add also, if you have a sprayer that has multiple nozzle sets or that you spray with different um, outputs, maybe depending on the speed you travel, make profiles for every single uh, one. So if I have like a Toro um, 1750 sprayer, um, but then I also, I have it set up to do say 80 gallons per acre, um, I'm gonna put that right in the title. So that way when I'm picking that sprayer, I know, oh yeah, that's the, the profile with 80 gallons per acre. You put in the size, so it's 200 maybe gallons, and we're doing it at 80 gallons per acre. You can also add other information if you need, nozzle descriptions. This is all important maybe for pesticide reporting requirements. It's all right there. So we're gonna skip that for now. We'll push finish. And let's make another another one. So say we have the same Toro sprayer, the Toro 1750, but we have maybe a fairway setup that we spray at um, one uh, gallon per thousand. So GPM for thousand square feet. It's still a 200 gallon sprayer, that hasn't changed, but maybe we go a little bit faster or we use a different nozzle set. And so in that scenario, we do one gallon per thousand and we'll finish that. Okay, so that's it. You've now made the what we really need for your course to, to exist. Um, it's now logged in our, our system. When you log back in, it's going to go right to this desk golf course, and you're ready to start um, going ahead with um, with your management. So you're going to push finish. I'm going to agree to my terms here. I like that legal jargon you have to do. Um, and right now it's pulling in all of the past weather records. So that's why it's kind of grinding through, pulling all your weather data from the last uh, bit of time here. And now I can see currently what the weather has been like in Lincoln, Nebraska. Uh, we have no applications, nothing's been logged yet. And the reason nothing has been logged is because we still need to go through and add active, um, our different products. This is a really important part. And so we're gonna go to, you can see this pulsating course management there product inventory. But while we're here, let's kind of look at our main menu. So we can see on a computer, we have a main menu tile on the right side. On a phone, it will collapse down and you push a little hamburger menu, it's called, and it will pop up. Always go back home here. This will take us to our program builder, which we can start crafting a whole agronomic program. We can view course data, green speed, clipping volume, all in our performance tracker. We have integrated soil uh, course tests. And then we have everything we do to manage our golf course. And then for people that have been using Greenkeeper for a long time, some of our older pages, they still exist in our legacy pages um, area. Uh, we have some more offerings, our blog, Greenkeeper University. And then we have some help support, resetting passwords. It's all being done right there. But it's pulsing at us saying, click here. We need to set our inventory. So we're gonna do that, but quick, if for any reason you need to manage your sprayers or you need to change your, um, anything with your course, that can be done right here. You push my course, 
all those areas that we set up before are here. Um, and so we'll talk about that in another video, but we're going to go to manage that inventory in our next video. So uh, go along and let's get ready to start adding products to our course.